What's going on guys, Andrew here. Welcome back to Around the Track. This is where we talk about all the hot and new things going on within the Coast community. Today, I'm bringing you all another Kings of Minion 2025 roller coaster construction update. This is the second one that I'll be doing. Uh, this was filmed April 21st, 2024. Uh, I'm doing the recording on April 27th, 2020, 2024. So as of right now, I don't know if track has showed up yet, but from what I've been told, is that it is supposed to be showing up within the next couple weeks here. Um, so just stay tuned for that. I am very excited um, to see what the track color is going to be, as well as if it's going to have maybe kind of like the bamboo type of theming. I feel like this coaster is going to be heavily, heavily themed. Uh, and I'm very excited for that because as you saw from Iron Menace, Iron Menace looks incredible if you haven't seen that one. Uh, I do hope to get up there to go to Dorney Park and kind of see how that coaster is as well as the entire park because that would be my first time going up there back to the matter at hand though they've been working really diligently um i will say this the day i went there uh it was around like 3 3 30 when i was filming this it had just stopped raining so they weren't really working that day but with that being said i did get to see a, a nice amount of footers uh as you can see here uh, there was a lot of lane clearing uh, a lot of little markers but there's been a ton of footers that have been laid down uh, they have extended a lot of fencing. So the normal fencing that was there like legit maybe a week ago, it has been pushed even more back. I wouldn't be surprised they might close this area off. Uh, they'll probably only have some Beely open, but they may not even have Reptilian open to be honest. So I did see a lot of people when I was filming that day. So a lot of people that came up to me, uh, just wanted to say hey and try to figure out what was going on behind there. Because uh, I'm one of the only people that are actually able to see kind of over this thing just because the fence is like almost eight feet. But as you can see here, there were a lot of, there was a giant, two giant footers that were placed. Um, and then you had some other big footers here. They literally ripped up the pavers and kind of just set them on a pallet. So I imagine they're going to reuse those in the future because it makes sense. You don't want to have to buy new pavers. They, I, all they have to do is pressure wash it and then put it back in the ground. Uh, this whole area though... Like I said, they've cleared a lot of land, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's even more cleared now. I don't know if they're honestly going to keep the station, because they really don't need to keep that old station. This area over here is where the old volcano sign was, and there's two footers there. Like I said, those are some pretty big footers. Uh, you can see the ground looks pretty red, so it's some pretty good soil or clay uh, that they're using for, like I guess, the soil foundation for this one, just, just because of Virginia soil at least this area of it. This area has also been cleared out pretty heavily. Uh, you can tell they're probably gonna be putting concrete down soon in some areas just cause you can see the rebar. But like I said, they makeshifted like that whole fence because it wasn't there like a week ago. This other side over here is near like Flight of Fear. You can just see how massive this coaster is gonna be. Like this is gonna be a huge coaster. Um, I forget how large the volcano structure itself was and I'm excited to see how they're gonna really utilize it. This area over here, I can't remember where I was at for this spot. I think I was by uh, a scrambler or something, but yeah, like I said, they pretty much makeshift that fence and they've cleared a lot of land. So footers are more than likely gonna continue to be poured and that's kind of where they're at right now. This other area over here is by further by Reptilian, right by like the exit. They've cleared this area as well and also extended the fencing more back because it was actually closer. But that's kind of where like the entrance to the area is. Um, I was talking about the fencing. This is the area I was talking about as far as like what the fencing is and whatnot and what they're going to be doing. Um, they've fenced off a nice large chunk of the parking lot by preferred parking. Um, and they pretty much fenced off the entire area of uh, where the RVs were at and they put cones in place of that. So like I said, track and support should be showing up. It You can tell they're gonna be, it's gonna be a nice amount of track that's gonna be there. As far as how quickly they're gonna get it inside the volcano or new area, I don't know how long that's gonna take because luckily they're not open daily right now, but that's all that I have for y'all today. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. The main reason I did the narration this time is because they have a lot of copyright music playing. And I really just didn't want to deal with that. So let me know if you want this style of video more or if you prefer just the video with the music and then just the uh, text saying what's going on. But thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out. 